Fearless World Hot Topics. Today I'm going to talk about the 2024 presidential candidates, the ones that's already thrown in their hat for the Republican Party, and yet it's only March of 2023. Stay tuned. The 2024 presidential election should be pretty cool. Should be a lot of candidates, actually on both sides of the aisle, because Biden's just... God. <laughs> Those who voted for him have got to be embarrassed. God, I feel bad for the guy. Anyhow, that's, that's for another video. In this one, I just want to talk about the two Republican candidates that currently have said, I'm running. Donald Trump said he's running. Well, he's got to revenge his loss, right? He lost, he's upset about it, and I kind of agree with him. I don't see how he should have lost. Now, granted, he's not a very, you know, he doesn't do, well, I'm getting ahead myself. In this video, I'll talk about Donald Trump, and we'll talk about Nikki Haley. First, Donald Trump. First off, I love both of them. I love Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump's policies is truly about America first, and they're good for America. Trump's tweets and Trump's more negative than he needs to be. You know, he you know he makes fun of of the the media by calling them fake news. I get it. That ha ha ha. That's funny, funny, funny. But you know what? You don't have to say it all the time. You can at least try to work with them. Instead of always being their enemy. Uh, that's, I think, what Trump needs to work on. Trump needs to go into, in fact, all the Republicans need to do this. They need to go into the lion's den and win over a few voters. Because imagine this. Biden only won by a few, thousand, a few million votes. If just 1%, Biden only won by a few million votes. So just imagine this. If just 1%, just 1% of Biden's voters would have voted for Trump in every state, Trump would have won like 47 states. It would have been a landslide. But the problem was, Trump didn't win over the naysayers. He didn't win over those Democrat and independent voters. And that's what every Republican needs to do. They need to go into the enemy territory and just win over a small percent, one percent of those voters. Even just a half a percent would make a difference. In fact, a half a percent, Trump would have won the popular vote. And granted, every single state half percent may not have mattered enough. You know, I didn't look at those numbers, but I looked at the one percent. If it was one percent in every state, Trump wins 47 easily. But here's the thing, though. you got to go into the lion's den. you got to go, instead of holding rallies where all you have is your supporters and you're preaching to the choir. Great. But what about those naysayers over there? You already got their votes, right? You already got your supporters' votes. You don't need to keep preaching to them. You already got their support. You need to go over there where they're the enemy. And you need to win over just a few that's what Trump needs to do. In fact, DeSantis did this just recently. He went to New York to actually talk to law enforcement because really he was on a recruiting mission. He says, come on over. We'll even give you some extra money to come down. And the Democrats were all offended that he was going up there. So Trump needs to do that. He needs to stop with the negativity and just start focusing on winning people over. I look at I look at it this way. Market share. Trump's a businessman, so he should be able to, to understand this, right? Market share. His market share is, I don't know, let's say right here. And he needs to be up here to win over every election. So he needs to increase his market share. How does he how do you increase your market share? You win over those who are not buying your product, right? That's what Trump needs. Trump needs to win over those who are not currently buying into his product. Him. That's what he needs to do. Nikki Haley. I like Nikki Haley. I like her a lot. Um, 
She makes a lot of sense and she's got some good experience and um, I know that there is that whole deal about oh she would never run if Trump runs again you know that's stupid talk you're gonna initially say that because you do support that person and she may still support that person but here's the one thing that, that I think is important is we need options in order for the Republican Party to win over the, 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 hot, the White House, they need to give the people the options. Let's put a whole bunch of people out there. It's like training camp for a sports team. Let's bring everyone to camp, and let's see who ends up being. Trump's the starter right now, but maybe Nike Healy can, can win over the starting knot, right? Maybe she's better than him. If she can go into the lion's den and win over those other voters, then she's got it. Now, granted, they're not going to vote in the primary, but the ability to be able to do that will also win over some of the other Republican voters. And if she becomes a nominee, then she'll easily get the Trump supporters, and then she'll also get those other supporters and she'll win in a landslide. That's what every Republican needs to do. And the Republican Party needs to have, like, 10, 15 people running for office and let the best person win. But that's my two cents on it. So if, obviously, I'm not big enough for Trump or Nikki Haley's people to see my video, but if they do, or if someone passes on the message to them, go to the lion's den. Win over the naysayers. That's all you have to do. It's my opinion, and I'm Jeff Arizona Hot Topics. See you by fun.